Hello my soccer universe to the first video of the weekend reviews and again I decided to start in the Premier League because what a weekend that was and it's all down to Harry Kane who kind of ignited everything, uh, reignited the league. I mean we may be talking, we may, we'll look at in, 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 we may, may be talking of a potential title race again thanks to Spurs delivering the WTF result of the weekend. One that came totally out of the blue, one that no one expected based on form we have been talking, I have been talking about City being the best team in the world, blah 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 blah, and that I don't see Spurs doing anything. It's even so bad that I, yes, Lask was kind of playing around the same time, but I completely forgot about it and I said, okay, let's watch uh, Curtin against Frankfurt. What a bad choice it was on my part. And then I remember I saw the last, um, just before we had dinner and I checked the standing, uh, the scores. 3-2 for Spurs. Quickly checked that one and I saw the last seconds, uh, you know, uh, when I find the five, 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 five final whistle and so on. And I thought, okay, I, big L on my part for this one, uh, of course. I had to watch the entire post game on all the highlights because that must have been one well, heck of a game. Yeah, you cannot win them all. But yeah, uh, that result, uh, you know, reinvigorates not only the top four race because now Spurs maybe could turn a corner again. I I feel Spurs are a little bit like Athletic Homa Madrid. This was an emotional win, another emotional win where you think they can rally around and then they will disappoint us again. Uh, similar to Atletico Madrid, at least Spurs are getting their wins against good teams. Uh, Atletico Madrid are struggling to get the results against bad teams. That's maybe one difference. Uh, but yeah, uh, an afternoon that could have gone horrible for Liverpool turned out to be the best way possible. Um, we'll see later on when we talk about standings. Um, it's still very much City's League to lose. But there might be a pathway. There might. And uh, we'll see... Uh, about that but um uh, yeah and the last thing uh, i recorded on saturday morning I, re I recorded the stats cast for the europa league and you know this was one stats cast because i didn't just give you the tables and put music under i actually commented on what's happening and i said let's put city on so my jersey curse hit again and i did not even think about it that way so let's there you go okay uh as for the top four is, I mean, West Ham won one against Newcastle. I mean, it shows that Newcastle is on the up, but West Ham is really, really struggling and having Europa League action also going, going on might not go well. Uh, the team that many are looking for now to make it into the top four is Arsenal, who get a rather unexciting win over Brentford. But everything that I'd expect, uh, Smith Rowe and Saka scoring the 2-2 two -two goals and then Nur got very late, late on pulls from back for Brentford. But it was a rather easy win. The one thing though for Arsenal is that their games against the big opponents have been keeping push, have been postponed most of, of the time. So they still have uh, matches against Chelsea, they have a match uh, against Spurs uh, hanging, which might loom large. And then there is also uh, an upcoming game against, against Liverpool has been postponed until later. So for me, um, I don't know quite yet what Arsenal is because of that. Just saying it. Uh, Chelsea, yeah. <laughs> Struggling to get uh, something uh, from, from Crystal Palace um, with a completely invisible Lukaku, which is hard at his size. I think he had the lowest uh, total of touches within 90 minutes in the Premier League history. I really wonder, I think he is very much a player who needs a lot of confidence. He actually assisted uh, what seemed like the go-ahead goal by Hakan uh, Ziyech, which was then not counted for offside, but it was then Alonso who is assist Ziyech to get Chelsea an important win to kind of solidify this third place. It will not ma it will not get to a title challenge for Chelsea. They might win their titles elsewhere, but not uh, in this game. Uh, Liverpool, on the other hand, uh, looked very sloppy, especially the first half. And I think if uh, Timo Pukki uh, is a little bit more a uh, bad, bad, bad aim, Norwich could have been up 1-0 before the half. They make the Azur Rajica, um, a sergeant on the Rajica. It sounds so Werder Bremen. Uh, they get the lead just after the half. However, then Thiago comes on, Origi comes on, especially the, uh, the Thiago. I, said, I mean, yes, he was uh, rotating, so... Uh, 
to make things work. I think Timikas even uh, missed a pretty big chance early, early on. But yeah, it was then right after the hour on market saw so the money in very spectacular fashion uh, gets the equalizer and then a typical Salago where he just dribbles so much that everyone's co 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 confused, falls uh, uh, aside that he can pull it in, in, in into the M and then, and then Luis Diaz gets his first goal for Liverpool. So yeah, uh, Liverpool could have turned ugly, but with that win, they put on the pressure. Uh, Southampton also continued the Google firm with a 2 0 over Everton. And, and, and you see, um, we had Aston Villa losing to Watford. That was a, a surprise result. Burnley uh, against Brighton, I have no manager. So uh, there's also the relegation battle is heating up again. So the league is getting hot at the moment. <laughs> That's exciting. But yeah, and Everton uh, just cannot get out of, out of it. But maybe Southampton might. But then, you know, it was all City against Spurs. What a game that was. Uh, again, I have not seen it, but I have watched highlights. I listened to many things. So from all what I can see that, uh, of course, City had loads of possession. However, Spurs hung deep and with a wonderful uh, attack where I think um, it, it was a ball uh, played out where Kane just with a brilliant touch. Puts it on the path of Son, uh, who then you think he might, might go and go, but, but he finds he sees Kulkuzewski is better placed and gets uh, Kulkuzewski make makes one one, one nil. Um, then they kind of try to absorb the pressure of a Gundogan gets an e e e e equalizer, but on just after to have with a, a cross whipped in Harry Kane, the guy who wanted to go to City, gets uh, the go ahead goal, and then a few minutes later he even thought that it was a three one, but it was not to be. Uh, and Spurs just frustrate the heck out of Manchester City. And this is exactly how you get to Man Manchester City. I think it's really stifling their D defense. It's like Mourinho did against um, uh, Barcelona at the time. And then uh, you thought that City has gotten it because they get a penalty that Rio Mares and what a converted penalty that that was, makes it 2-2 uh, in stoppage time. And you thought, yeah. They just escaped with one, yes, dropping points, but just, just escaped with one, and seemingly they mentally switched off. And then uh, Cross is whipped in, I think by uh, Kulusevsky, and Harry Kane, almost uncontested, can pull it into net for a 95th minute winner. Boom, boom, boom. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, I gotta say. Um, so that, as I said, ignited the, the race. We had also uh, Leeds United against Manchester, and I forgot in the midweek, <laughs> so many, 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 many results at, at the moment. So, so many, many, many make up games in the Premier League. In the midweek, I think um, United won 2 0, I want to say, against Burnley with Ronaldo scoring just a fraction of a second after Messi missed the penalty against Real Madrid. Coincidence, maybe. maybe. But United Egg, Egg actually taught up of a really good week uh, with a 4-2 win against Leeds. A very, very tough Leeds under very tough conditions. Yes, they had the lead through Maguire and, and Fernandes just before the half. But right after have Leeds come back, a oh, brilliant goal by Moreno, uh, Rodrigo. Ro was it is, 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 well, whatever Rodrigo? Not sure if he man, man, man but here or, or last week should, should, should have scored at least one. And then Rafinha just within a minute later makes it two two, and you thought, oh, is United um, wasting a lead again? No, they fight back. Fred comes on and uh, scores, and they go ahead. Has that goal after Sanchez is and Lango makes it uh, four two. I have told you before. I think that of the teams going for total four. If United are not completely combusting, and you know, there seems to be dressing room uh, busters, whatever, but if they're not completely getting at each other's throat, I think United has it too much quality to not make it into the top four. It's my personal opinion. Another one who stays in the top, top four is Wolves not playing great. At that game, I actually saw most of it. Um, Rum Neves getting a first goal, then Leicester actually deserved fully the equalizer through Lukman. But then Paul then gets another winner and lay it on last last right. I mean, it was not a great, great, great game, but I thought that Leicester probably should have gotten a draw out of that. And so, with all these results plus the makeup game from United, we have now City six points clear of Liverpool, but I Liverpool having a game in hand and a head to head. Now, goal difference rather even. 
Liverpool will make up the attack game, so we'll talk three points. It's still 20, less than 20% for Liverpool, so it's still very much cities to lose, but it's getting hot. Chelsea looks safe for the Champions League. If you look at the top four race, uh, it goes all the way down to Spurs with Arsenal at the moment holding the advantage with having that many games to make up as to Spurs. And there's a head-to-head -head in there. That could uh, really swing uh, it in favor of one of the auto teams. It seems to be at the moment it's between United, Arsenal and Spurs. And given how flaky Spurs are, one might say between United and Arsenal, and I don't trust Arsenal quite yet. I want to see them play against the big teams. And that's why I'm still on United, although Arsenal is uh, saying by the model. West Ham and Wolves, unfortunately, only outsider chances. Although West Ham has the other chance of the Europa League that might help them out. Uh, on the bottom, with Watford winning, with Burnley winning, uh, Newcastle only on a draw and Everton losing, Leeds losing and Brentford losing. You see, suddenly we have from spot 14 down... It seems like we have a relegation fight, especially Burnley with all those many games in hand. It's still not clear. I know that at the moment odds on, according to my model, is Newcastle. But I think Newcastle is uh, turning it around. So I'm looking. I still don't think that Everton will go down. So I'm looking. If Burnley would make the escape, I'm looking a little bit at Brentford, who are trend, 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 trend down. And Leeds I'm also not too convinced of. So yeah, that's it for the standings. Uh, Upcoming come games. It's uh, crazy. Burnley against Spurs will be made up. There are many games from all the different rounds. This was the snow game. This was not a COVID postponed football game. This was from late November. So Burnley against Spurs will happen on Wednesday. Uh, we have also uh, on Wednesday Watford against Crystal Palace. Uh, which, yeah, it's not, not maybe the, uh, the greatest game. Ah, uh, United won against Brighton, I see here. Dummy me. Um, and then Liverpool uh, against Leeds United. That's a big one because that will actually pretty much decide where um, whether Liverpool can make it a title race. Uh, it's, of course, all ha happening at the same time as, Champ as Champions League. So I will just, just see the results. And then we have another big one on uh, Thursday between Arsenal and Wolves, uh, which more or less... Arsenal wins it. Wolves are probably out of the running for the top four. I think that's those are the stakes there. Um if Wolves win, 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 then, then we see again that Arsenal are not so great. Um, and then the weekend round, uh, we have, uh, there would be Arsenal against Liverpool. No, that has been moved into March, so we don't have that many games. I'm looking at Leeds against Spurs, uh, could, could could be a very interesting one. Um, you know, there's the League Cup, 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 Cup final there, that's why our, uh, the Liverpool and the Chelsea games have been postponed. Uh, we have West Ham against Wolves, another of those top four matches. Everton against Man City, I'm a little bit afraid that Everton will get mauled, because City will probably want to do something for a goal difference, and United can solidly solidify solid their top four spot with a win at Watford. So yeah, uh, maybe next round, not so great overall. In any case, what an exciting weekend that was. Uh, for me, it was this weekend of all the leagues. While there are many things pointed to Spain for me, the Premier League is where it delivered the most. So, yeah. I would like to hear your opinion on how you see things unfold. Champions, championship, uh, top four, and uh, rele rele relegation. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. Want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.